Since in a sneer, I jabbed him up from his sky down to my sea level. <laughs> Spiked him good, no doubt of fact. I withdrew Dirk from a streaming eyeball. It leached on my deck. But to uh, wise and uh, amazement of all spectators, the ice skittered away, bubbled along planks in the roll of ocean. Or is there life remaining in an eyeball? Eyeball, I announced. Make your grotesque, your dance, a jig alone, a shanty eye or hop. And gingerly stepped across the dancing I touched in a satisfaction the steel of blade held in my palm. I wiped it certainly, and wiped it indeed on my boot leather. White metal gleamed like a newborn's teeth. Under this terrible and boiling hot sun of the Atlantic waterway, <laughs> the assailant Jack Tar, American, only writhed upon our planks. His earthy hand reached and clutched for something absent over that cheekbone. <laughs> Surely, brothers, you know what he sought. Only I followed course by sextant or no of the eye. But our third mate, hearing commotion of the combat sword, he stepped to scrambled sprit netting and witnessed the horror vision still bounce on the forecastle. <laughs> Foxhole. <laughs> Decisively, my mate kicked I in a swoop now, overboard. Parabola of I washed to sea. Dolphins circled our vessel. Tit bit treat, ay ay, ay ay ay, they cried. Meanwhile, this my. The sympathetic mate fellow. He splashed a bucket of salt water upon that cheek of the invalid buccaneer. You see, he bubbled blood from sucking. Excuse me. And rapscallions screamed one final time, a high shriek, arr, irritating to my commander, sailorman. Go then, you. Go, leapy, under. I said, seek the shoreland of uh, Newfoundland. I said it, or repeated possibly the words, and said, Save the one jelly while you have the one jelly remaining. T'was my philosophy. And he rose. <coughs> this cyclops under a bonnet, and staggered, tumbled over bulwark rail. In mercy I tossed fiddle over their side for the flotsam steady. Unfortunate a sea fiddle sink under rising keel, and no sailors cannot swim. By tradition. All episode complete, I slid steel down aside my belted hip. Next man devours the captain's grog or gives me a look in. I shall slash his ears, poke out eyes, and swallow a tongue for the digestive exercise. I nodded. Manish, rogue. Listen up, be lady friendlies. From the rigging, boys listened, and they too swallowed, swallowed hard lines. Set course for Bermuda, I cried, an example set for community. Helmsman Raffi tipped his cap, swung the wheel in those steady, 